All right, what is up everyone? My name is Chris and I'm back with everyone's favorite, the NHL 20 simulation, the fifth game of this series. The Flyers played the St. Louis Blues and they pick up an eight to seven win. It was crazy. There were so many leads blown. Um, but overall, it was a good game. Uh, I definitely enjoyed watching it. A lot of goals. Um, it was pretty physical. There was a lot of penalties, a lot of a, a lot of good hits, physical play, um, and the Flyers came out with a win. They're now four and one in these simulation games. Uh, last game they beat the Oilers in overtime, five and four. Uh, so the Flyers were home in this one uh, early on in the first period. Jake Voracek would get the Flyers on the board a minute in uh, as he got a rebound of a shot. Uh, and he scored a uh, five hole on Bennington to make it one nothing. A couple minutes later, Matt Niskanen would make it two to nothing on a slap shot that went low on Bennington. Uh, and then Vince Dunn, uh, he would get one on a one time in the slot. A couple minutes later, Jaden Schwartz, he would tie the game on the power play for St. Louis. Uh, that, that one low blocker uh, on Carter Hart. And then Nicholas Albe Kubel would make it three to two for the Flyers on the power play on a rebound. Uh, and this was really like, there's been a couple guys that like stood out to me throughout all these. And it's weird that I say it like that because. I actually watch the game to watch the game. I don't like just watch it for the goals. Like I actually try to watch and see, you know, anything that that's just different. I mean, because everyone knows the difference between the old gen NHL and the new gen NHL and all that stuff. Um, but I don't, I don't really watch like computers and how they play. There's a lot of things that are messed up about it, and I could literally sit here for a whole video and talk about it. But there's been a couple guys I've noticed that have played really well: Raffle, Jake Voracek and Albe Kubel. Those are like the three guys. Carter Hart's been good really every game, but for some reason, I feel like Voracek always has a good game no matter if he gets points. Albe Kubel is usually getting a lot of goals, and for some reason, I think Raffle gets a lot of assists. He had, he did have a goal in this game, um, which I'll get into that, and that was in the third period, but even still, there's been a lot of things about it, but the Flyers would have a 3-2 lead after the first period. Uh, a couple minutes uh, into the period, Sanford would uh, tie the game 3-3 on a power play. It was just, it was literally a rolling puck. He tapped it right in. It was an easy goal. Uh, David Perron would make it 4-3 on a tap in. A couple minutes later, Sean Couturier, he would get one to tie the game for the Flyers. Uh, Jaden Schwartz and Braden Shen would both add two more for St. Louis. Schwartz on the power play. Shen a couple minutes later after that. The Blues would have a 6-4 lead. They dominated the second period. Uh, and then the Flyers really came out. They got an early goal here. From Jacob Voracek on a rebound, his second of the game, uh, to get the, to make it a one-goal lead. A couple minutes later, James Van Riemsdyk on the power play. He would tie the game 6-6. Six to six. Uh, And then a couple minutes later, Van Riemsdyk again gets his second uh, on a one-timer from the slot. Uh, and that would make it 7-6. Then this is Michael Roffel's goal. He made it 8-6 on a rebound. And then Thomas, literally 13 seconds after a Roffel scored, Thomas made it 8-7. But that was it. It was a high-scoring game. Flyers, they pick up a 8-7 win. And, you know, there's been a lot of things about, like, this NHL 20 thing. And I know not many people like the game and like the simulations. I'm only really doing this just to keep pumping out videos. You know, it's it's really just like every, every other game review, to be honest with you. I mean, I try to incorporate as much things. And I know with Jim Jackson, Keith Jones announcing it, that's a lot better because I can't stand the announcers in the game, in the actual NHL 20. But, um, you know, that makes it better for me, which is why I like I like watching it. And it's also... A real thing it's not like it's and when I say real thing I mean that it's not a broadcast that's from like you know an old game or something like that it's actually it's live but it's not what everyone's expecting so that's why I, I like doing it uh, and I think it's cool I've always wanted to incorporate the NHL 20 and the, the whole EA Sports NHL series into my channel but I never really could figure out a way how and this is probably the best way for me to do it so again guys podcast articles those links are on my channel hope you guys enjoyed this one I'll see you guys in the next one and goodbye